गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर रीडिंग दिस चैप्टर रंगाज मैरिज वी हैव रेड इट इट हेयर वी हैव रेड दैट रंगा एंड आर नरेटर श्यामा दे जस्ट वेंट टू अ शास्त्री एंड नाउ लेट्स रीड फर्दर शास्त्री टर्न टू रंगा वेन डिड द यंग सन ऑफ आर अकाउंटेंट क्लर्क कम होम वट कैन आई डू फॉर हेम इट्स वेरी रेयरली दैट ही विजिट्स अस Take out your paraphernalia. Our Rangappa seems to have something on his mind. Can you tell us what's worrying him? Shall we put our put your science of astrology to the test? There was authority in my voice as I spoke to Shastri. He took out two sheets of paper, some cowries, and a book of palmyra leaves. Saying ours is an ancient science, Aya, there is a story to it, but I won't tell you that story now. This is not a hari katha which allows you to tell a story within a story. You may get bored. I will tell it to you some other time. Shastri moved his lips fast as he counted on his fingers and then asked, "What is?" What's your star? Ranga didn't know. Never mind. Shastri indicated with a shake of his head. He did some more calculations before saying it in a serious tone. It's about a girl. I had been controlling my laughter all the while, but now I burst out laughing. I turned to Ranga. Exactly what I had said. Who is the girl? It was your humble servant who asked the question. Shastri thought for a while before replying. She probably has the name of something found in the ocean. Kamla, maybe. so you know <coughs> i have already told you we have read that you know that uh, that uh, shastri and uh, shama they have planned something uh, there, there was uh, because he had fixed meeting with him and now this was all uh, plan about all uh, those things that is why that shama took rangappa to shastri and shastri just you know uh, saw her horoscope saw his horoscope and he just you know calculated everything was just a drama just to you know uh, take out uh, just to make uh, ranga confess that he really having some feelings for ratna or uh, what uh, is uh, actually that was bothering him so shastri just counted these things uh, fake uh, by doing fake uh, calculations and everything and then he just said in a very serious tone that it's about a girl and then chama was very much in curious to know about it and he know that this is all is a drama and he just laughed that who is that girl he asked this question and now uh, this shastri is just you know guessing the name of a girl that may be this name girl name maybe kamla or something like that let's read further could it be pachi moss must it be moss of its not kamla why not pearl or ratna the precious stone ratna the girl in rama rao's house is ratna tell me is there any change of our name negotiations bearing fruit definitely he said after thinking for some time there was surprise on ranga's face and some happiness i noticed it but that girl is married i said then i turned on him his face had fallen i don't know all that there may be some other girl who is suitable i only told you what our shastra indicated shastri said we left the place On the way we passed by Rama Rao's house Ratna was standing at the door I went in alone and came out a minute later surprising this girl is not married it seems someone told me the other day that she was what shastri told us has turned out to be true after all but rangappa i can't believe that you have been thinking of her swear on the name of madhvacharya and tell me is it true what shastri said and then you know then uh, shastri was doing random guesses for the name and then finally he come to this name that must it be moss or if it's not kamla why not pearl or ratna the precious stone then he come to this name that guess that the girl um, about whom ranga is thinking that must be some precious stone name based on some precious stone like ratna so then uh, you know uh, shyama hints that there is ratna living uh, uh, you know girl living in his neighborhood so do you think that there is possibility of uh, getting married both of them so he asked him he said that yes definitely why not but then Sh- that shyama uh, you know uh, uh, deliberately tells that you know she is married and then ranga was very much sad he said that shashi said that i do not have to do anything with that i just told you that what he is thinking what is there in his heart so that's all i can do so then when they were coming back to their home then uh, shyama just went to uh, ratna's um, um, uh, uncle's house and uh, after a while he came out and with a smile on his face because he had just planned over all those things so it it was obvious that ratna was not married <laughs> so he uh, informed ranga that you know that it was a very good news that ratna is not married she is a girl and then he asked ranga that are you seriously falling for her do you really want um, uh, to get married to her she, he asked directly to ranga so then what happened i don't know whether anyone else would have been def- uh, direct ranga admitted there is greater truth in the shastra than we imagine what he said is absolutely true shastri was at all when i was i went there that evening 
uh, was at the well when i went there uh, that evening i said so Sh- shastra angal uh, you repeated everything i had taught you without giving her rise to any suspicion what a marvelous shastra yours is he didn't like it at all what are you saying what you have said to me wor- was what i could have found out myself from shastras don't forget i developed on the hints you had given me tell me is this what a decent man says rangappa had come uh, the other day to invite me for dinner what's the occasion i said it's shyama's birthday he is there it's not a nice name shyama i said i am like a dark piece of oil cake why did you have to give that golden child of yours such a name what a childish couple you are ratna and you so then what happened then after uh, uh, this meeting uh, 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 shama gan went to uh, shastri to, to to tell him that he has performed very well so he just you know uh, congratulate him and he just teased him that here shastra is all doing well then shastri got irritated because he he said that you know that he had told whatever is written in shastra there is already written in shastra that uh, you know this ranga would g- get uh, married to a girl named ratna or something like that so then uh, shama was happy that everything had gone back so from this here this point this is after a very long time what happened then rangappa came to his house to uh, uh, invite shama for a dinner so what was the occasion occasion was the birthday of shama so who is shama here shama is the child of both ratna uh, both ratna and uh, ranga they have named their child before the name of shama so then shama said that you know that our narrator said that you know that this is not a pretty name to uh, uh, have a name for a, such a golden child of yours uh, it's just a name why because he is our narrator is tall uh, is dark and he said that you know this child is golden be beautiful so you shouldn't name him like that so he said that you know what a childish couple you are both ratna and you so then i uh, no i know it it is the english custom of naming the child after someone you like your wife is 8 months pregnant now who's there to help your mother to cook my sister has come with her i went there for dinner shama rushed to me when i uh, walked in and put his arms around my legs i kissed him on the cheek and placed a ring on his tiny little finger allow me to take leave of you reader i am always here ready to serve you you were not bored i hope so then uh, you know they were just talking to each other then we come to know that ratna is again pregnant and uh, ranga's mother has come here to help her with cooking and all those things and then shama their little child came over to narrator and he kissed him and narrator presented a little ring to his little finger and then uh, this chapter ended and our narrator is seeking our leave and that's how this chapter goes chapter is very easy there is uh, nothing um, tough about this chapter it's just a very simple and easy story so read it again and let's focus on these questions comment on the influence of english the language and the way of life on indian as reflected you can skip this question astrologers perceptions are based more than hearsay and conjecture than what they from the study of the star comment with reference to the story you can write it because obviously uh, uh, everything written in horoscope is not true they are just based on some of the constellations and some other things so they may relate to the reality but they are not the reality Indian society has moved a long way from the way the marriage is arranged in the story discuss yes because now there are so many forms of marriages there is love marriage there are arranged marriage but not in this form obviously now girl and boy got to get to know themselves they spend more time with each other then they get to know and then they finally got married there is a form of a love marriage so there are so many of the things you can write it by your own self what kind of a person do you think narrator is you can write about your narrator that he's funny he's witty and um, he does match making you could say so these questions you have to do you can do these questions in a notebook and that's all for this uh, uh, lecture today we will start our next chapter or poem in next lecture